Hi, my YouTube friends, and welcome back to my channel. I am Dee, and you are viewing The How To Lady, a channel that offers information related to organization, DIYs, life hacks, and a plethora of other things. So today, I'm so excited because we're gonna show you how we decorate a mask. Now, if you haven't seen my video, I'm gonna link it right up here, and I'll link it below so you'll have easy access to it but we showed you various mask decorations. Well, today we're gonna to show you how to decorate your mask and make it cute and make it easy to combine with the colors that you wear. So let's get started. If you're interested, stay tuned. And we're gonna get this ball rolling and we're gonna knock it out of the park. As indicated in the introduction, we're going to show you how we construct a face mask. Since we're going to be probably wearing these for quite some time, we can turn a plain mask into a cute and fancy mask to match your everyday attire. So here are the things that you'll need. You'll need the scissors. You'll need a lighter. You will need whatever color ribbon you desire. So I'm gonna use blue here. And then I'm going to add rhinestones, but these things are optional. You can design your mask however you choose, but I'm just gonna show you a way that I do it. You can also uh, use more than one ribbon. So I have this strip of yellow, a few strips, that I'm going to use with this face mask. Today, we're going to use a pre-made mask. These can be purchased for pennies at any store. And I'm gonna show you how I just make it really cute. So let's dive right in. As indicated in the introduction, we are going to show you how to construct the decoration on this pre-made mask. Now you can make this actual mask by getting the stretchy material, but today we're using a pre-made mask just to decorate. And if you've seen my video on mask decorations, it's right up here. You can get that link and I'll link it below so you can have easy access to that video. But today I showed you the items that you'll need. And I've already pre-cut my material. So I have two pieces of the blue material that I'm going to use in this design. And what I did was I cut out the length that I wanted. I then folded it over once and then I folded it over again and then I cut it on the diagonal so I could get that slanted look on the end. I hope you can see that. And then when you unfold the ribbon, you'll see that you have the V shape that I like for the edge of the ribbon. I have two of those blue pieces cut out, and then I have three of the yellow pieces that I'm going to use in this design, as well as the rhinestones that I'm going to use. Now, I did burn the edges of the ribbon with this lighter so that it will not fray. And I think that's important to keep these cut edges intact. So I've already used these items, so I don't need them anymore. So the next thing we're going to use is our glue gun to put the ribbon or the decorations that we're going to place on the side of the mask. We're going to use the glue gun to put this together. So here we go.
mass decoration, the last step is to adhere your decorative piece to your mask. Now you have a couple of ways you can do that. You can either use your glue gun and adhere it permanently, or you can use a small safety pin to adhere it to the inside of the mask. And I like to use the safety pin because first of all, it's a pin that's going to stay put together. You don't have to worry about it popping loose while you have it on your face, but it helps you remove this when you need to clean the actual mask. And that way you don't disturb your wonderful design that you put a lot of the time and attention into decorating and putting together. So I am going to adhere it to the mask and I'm going to adhere it to the inside. So I'm lining the, the creative decorative piece on the mask, positioning it where I want it. And then I'm going to come to the inside of the mask and I'm going to pin that piece to the mask. And it goes through pretty easily. Uh, one other thing that I failed to mention is that I like to use the uh, wired ribbon. The ribbon that I'm using in this particular design is wired and it gives you a little more flexibility when it comes to shaping the design and molding the design the way you want it to work on the mask. So I like that. So I've adhered it to the inside of the mask. Now you can adhere it to the outside, but I prefer mine to be on the inside. All right, and then once you're done, you kind of give it one more little fix up. Particularly if you're, you're using the wired ribbon, then of course, however you bend it, it's going to stay in that position. So you tend to bend it when you're trying to adhere it with the safety pin. And guess what? You're done. Your mask looks amazing. Isn't that neat? I love it. So let's try it on. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Go Aggies, go Aggies. There we go. Doesn't that look great? Hey, put it up, put it up, Aggie Pride. <laughs> This would even look great on a white mask. So I hope you've learned something today. If you've seen anything that you like, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next